report i'll now start with parameterization it is very important component in our qtp so in this parameterization we also learn about the uh, or we also use whatever we have learnt on VB scripting. Let me first take about, there are a lot of parameterization. First we are talking about data table parameterization. So data table parameterization is what we are going to start with. So first is, what is parameterization? Parameterization is the one, if I want to pass the value inside the script, when I record, I always get the hard-coded values. As I type, I get those values in the script. Now, I want to pass external values, then I need to use a component called parameter. That parameter can be of any place. It, the, where is the parameter coming from? Variable itself, one we call it as a variable. Where we assign the value to the variable and that variable we use it in our script. That is one. Second, we create an external variable and that variable we want to use it here and that is called parameters. So parameters is from externally if I want to pass data table parameter. Excel sheet is what data table is. Excel sheet, the column, I want to use it as my parameter. Then it is a parameter. So a parameter or a variable, it doesn't make much of a difference. Variable means it is locally. I create in my program, I declare var1, say a, and I use the value message box var1. Now var1, we call it as a variable. That is simple. Now the same where one is not there, I want to take it from the external place. External to that system. It is now data table is one parameter. Action is one parameter. Random number is one parameter. Environment is one parameter. Test as another parameter. There are four levels of parameterization we have. So if I want to manage this, first I record. Before I record, I open the flight reservation. So flight reservation is available under all programs, QTP, sample applications, flight. So this is where the flight reservation is. So default username is John, password is Mercury. So I created now. I am going to create a script on this. This is the default that as a an user we do. We create the script record I just create the script so 12 12 12 then Denver then Frankfurt flight select name I copy this tickets insert I now inserted an order. So as a thumb rule of QTP or automation, when I started the script, you all know that I started with an empty screen. So my automation principle says, if I started with the empty screen, I should end up in the empty screen. So I clear the screen so that I landed up back to the empty screen. So this is very important part in the automation. You have to end the script in the way you have started. You have started with the login, I should end with the login. Log out. If I started with an empty flight reservation screen, I should end with the flight reservation screen. If I invoke a browser, I should close the browser. So you should end the script where you started the script. Unless otherwise you do it, it is becomes a problem for the next script to take over. So there should be a handshake between the first script and the second script. These are all important component in the part of framework. We will talk about this as we go. Now we are into parameterization. If you see here keyword view and expert view. Expert view as I said it is object.action. 
In keyword view, you can see now, I am opening this flight reservation. So, I am opening this flight reservation. The first item is nothing but the objects. Second column is nothing but operation I performed on that object. Third is what the value I have passed on to that object. 12-12-2013, Denver, Frankfurt, name, 0, 1, 2. These are all the values I passed inside the object through the operation method. Right hand side, documentation is a simple English, the steps that I have carried out. This is nothing but a test steps. Now the value that you see in the items column, this is the value that I want to like to change. And here we like to change using the parameter. So that parameter that we are going to see is a data table parameter first. Then random number, then environment parameter. So in the expert view, I can parameterize in both the views, either keyword view or expert view. Both the views are same. If I change any place, automatically the other view also will have that change effective. Now in this name, I like to parameterize that environment parameter or oh, sorry, data table parameter. So what is first data table? I want to create data in the data table. So if I come down, you can see now there is a data table sheet. I select that sheet. You are now able to see that there is a data table. I want to create a column name that I, I have selected A column. I am in the global sheet. In this A column, I my test case says for valid names, I want to test the creation of the flight. My test case is for all valid names, the creation of the flight should create the data. Now what is the valid names? So in this case, it accepts all values, including positive and negative values. That means there is no validation for the name. So this data that I am going to pass, is it with reference to this sheet or is it a global guide? Is this data to be used for other actions or is it only for this action? In my case, it is only for this action. So I go with the action. I am selecting the action sheet. In this action sheet, I want to name the column. This is the difference between the Excel sheet and the data table sheet. The first row of Excel sheet is always the column name in the data table. So I double click on that column A. You can see a change parameter name. In this parameter name, I say DT for data table and then name. This is the syntax I use. DT is for data table and the field name is to give which field name that I am going to change. I change the name field. This is my name field I am trying to change here. Now I am entering now the data for this. It accepts alpha. It accepts only numeric, alpha numeric, alpha space alpha, special characters. I want to test for all this type of data. I want to test this name field. So test case is one. Execution is five times because for each execution I am changing the data set. This is one of the advantage of automation. Automation you can maximize your data set. Now this name field I want to map it to my data table name dt underscore name. That mapping dt underscore name is called data table parameter. Now the name is hard coded value. This name I want to map it to dt name. How to do it? If I know the syntax, I can type the syntax in the expert view directly. In case we don't know the syntax, I can always go to the keyword view. I select the name. I go to the keyword view. I select the value that I want to parameterize. And you can see there is a configure value button. In this configure value, I can change the parameter name. So parameter, data table parameter, from which sheet you want to take the value, current action sheet, 
one is global sheet another is current action sheet this is the this value is exclusive for this particular test script action hence i am choosing the current action sheet which column you want to use i want to use dt name so dt name is the parameter that i want to use and from the current action sheet i like to take the value from i say okay i have now selected mapped i move the line then that if i move the line it is mean automatically saved then i go to the expert view now you can see that the value is changed now data table is the syntax within bracket column name followed by dt local sheet or if i if i am taking from global sheet it is dt local global sheet so the local is replaced by global so this is what the syntax of my data table parameter linking to the script i am linking this data table parameter dt underscore name to the script using data table parameter this is the command for data table parameter data table has two ways one is i can use the data table as a parameter another one i can use the data table as an object what is object i'll explain it later now i parameterized so then our next expectation is if i run the script we expect him to run it for all the five rows we expect him to run for all five rows when i run the script i am going to run the script let us see how many rows he is executing i am running the script now there is a delay now later i'll remove the delay i have created a delay of 2 seconds that i'll remove it after this first execution so now he is executing so now you can see the uh, left hand side in the data table you can see the control the control or pointer is in the first row after insertion we expect him to continue the iteration for the second third etc but unfortunately he stopped the run he has finished so what is the understanding that we get is somebody has to instruct qtp where that parameter or the settings for executing all the rows i need to convey qtp how many rows you want to execute but that setting is available under select the action left hand side test flow screen select the action right click you can see now it is a uh, the property that we like to set it is something related to run properties so run properties is always defined as action call properties in action call properties this is what you have to remember in qtp where to set how to set is very important so now i want to set the runtime object property of an iteration in an action iteration i want him to select all rows from that action action call properties run on all rows right now you can see there is a warning message usually we never read through the warning message so when an action runs in iterations it must end in the same condition in which it has started this is what i was talking about in the beginning so i say okay i now i changed that to run on all rows so by default the setting is run only iteration one iteration only i move that to run on all rows i say okay i now run the script i run the script uh, i stop it now i'll just change my uh, seconds delay otherwise it will be too delayed i option i go to run option i change it to say maybe a slight delay maybe for 0.5 seconds just refreshing may not be appropriate but you can feel that it is iterating all rows that is what we want you to know so now you can see that the action sheet the pointer is what you need to now look into 
there will be a slight difference in your refreshment pointer is what is important now you can see the pointer is moved to line number two so line number two is now taking the data and is iterating through after this line number two he moves the pointer moves to line number three so in the advanced concept where I am using it as a data table object I move the pointer I will not allow QTP to control it I will control that that is what we learn it in our advanced concept called data table objects right so now you are able to see that it is able to iterate through all the rows this is simple what is data table pro parameter so here we have to create a data table sheet that is data to be fed into the data table sheet in case you want to rename the column you have to rename you can rename the column renaming a column is as simple so double click of select the column that you want to use double click on that column you can see a data change parameter name you can define your parameter name here this is how we have defined it for a DT name once we define the column next enter the data into the column as I enter the data you can notice now there are two things you have to be very clear you can see now line number four and five is having a darker line whereas line number six doesn't have a line if I enter a data in line number six and say yes enter you can see a thicker line here in case if I remove the data from line number six still the loop is set with empty line the loop is set for i equal to one to six now not one to five and he will try to pass an empty value in the name field then the script might fight, fail you have to be very careful in this removing a line just removing the content is not equal to removing the line if I like to remove the line select that entire row number six select it then right click on it select edit right click on it select edit and then select delete control K so now only you can see that the line number six is removed now loop is set to one to five please remember this this is very important in the data table parameter right practice makes you to help make mistakes while you script itself forcefully make the mistakes so that you know what type of error you get so that in real time project when you are getting the error you know what is the possible mistake that you have done right so I finished this is what is data table parameter I am saving this next what we are going to do is random number as a parameter so, next is random number as a parameter